You know what time it is? You're going to find out what time it is, and this isn't hammer time. That's this week on Think Tank Tuesday. Hi, I'm Paul Potratz, and welcome to this week's Think Tank Tuesday. I just want to share with you, because Samantha and Brian are standing behind the camera, and they said that was, Paul, you are so cheesy. I feel like I need the little baggy pants and go, woo, hammer time. But anyway, hey, what are we talking about this week? Are you the type of dealer that's like, whoa, it's a new month. We need a new ad. we got to create something different. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Are you reinventing yourself every single month? Well, if you're like 99 point, well, let's say just a lot, okay? If you're like a lot of dealerships, you feel like that as far as if you're not always doing a new commercial, always reinventing yourself, that you're not doing enough to help your marketing strategy. Well, guess what? You are hurting your marketing strategy if you're doing a new commercial every single month. If you're always trying to reinvent what you did, you're hurting yourself. You're wasting your money and you're just not cutting through the clutter. So my point is, you need to create a commercial that's going to run until you can't stand it any longer. Then you need to run it a little longer. Because while you're seeing it and you're paying attention to it and your sales managers and your salespeople and everybody at your dealership is seeing it because they're so close to it, the people that matter are not. So think about that. People are busy. And as far as you're always wanting to change the commercial, so you cannot build any frequency, you cannot build any brand, that's shame on you. Stop it. And I know, I understand, I'm that type. If I'm not always doing, 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 changing, 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 I feel like I'm not doing what I need to be doing. But you, you just can't. Trust me. Trust me on this. So think about it. As far as your TV commercial, your, your, even if you're doing newspaper in your market, if you're, well, if you're doing radio, you should probably just cancel it, chances are, because you need to be on digital and TV, because it is a four-screen environment, okay? But anyway, that's a side note, and it's all based on market. My point is, as far as your TV commercial, when you create your TV commercial, does it match as far as the look and feel of your website? Do your email signatures match the look and feel of your website and your TV commercial? The signage in your dealership, does it match everything else? Because if you don't have brand standards and you're not sticking to them, you're wasting a lot of money. But the point here is build your brand and stick with it. So TV, decide what your message is going to be. And you don't always have to be price pointing. If you're price pointing all the time, you're giving up gross. Here's a real quick strategy. Here's a real quick idea. So we added a new client, TV crew shows up and they're like, all right, here we are. You know, they gave them all the scripts and they told me we were going to do. So what they did is they mounted cameras inside the car, outside the car. And the, as far as the sales manager goes for a drive, and he's in the Honda CRV and he's talking about the fit, the finish, the features. And he's talking about how safe the car is. Well, that became his TV commercial about the Honda CRV and how safe it was. But the commercial matched as far as his logo, his color, his branding, his slogan, the music, everything went together and it stayed consistent. I know a lot of dealers would say, well, what do you mean? You talked about airbags and safety? Yeah, we did. And there was no price point in there. So that TV had more staying power. It could stay longer. And trust me, as far as safety of a vehicle is a much better call to action than $249 per month or $309 per month. Because talking about safety of that vehicle attracts a much larger percentage of the audience. But the key is that commercial could run a long time so it could finally get into the minds of people because the average individual has got to see something 21 times before they realize they've seen it. And chances are you're not running that hard of a schedule on TV that people can see it 21 times in 30 days. So plan on leaving those TV commercials in place for at least three months. That's this week's tip. And by all means, would you leave your comments and tell me what you think? And if there's something you want me to talk about next week, post it down there. I do read the comments. And oh, by the way, if you post a comment, we're going to pick somebody and we're going to send them a prize. After all, we're feeling kind of generous. See you next week. <laughs>